the Audi Quattro S1 was more than just a car. It made history by winning the first ever drivers and constructors titles in the World Rally Championship. The Audi Quattro S1 was the first ever car to use four-wheel drive competitively in rally racing. But what was the story behind this legendary car and what made it so successful? Let's take a closer look. The start of an era. The Audi Quattro S1, the golden era of Group B cars, and rocked the rallying world by being the very first WRC car with permanent four-wheel drive. And it all started in 1979 when all-wheel drive got the green light for rallying by FISA. While most car makers thought it was too much of a headache and would make the car feel like elephants, Audi Quattro made its grand entrance at the Geneva Motor Show in 1980 and then hit the racing scene at the 1980 Jenner Rally in Austria. It took the body of the regular Quattro and supercharged it with the engine from the original competition version, boosting it to around 300 horsepower. The original engine was a 2144cc inline five cylinder, which packed 200 horsepower and 285 newton meters of torque, taking the road version Quattro from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in 7.1 seconds and pushing it to over 220 kilometers per hour at top speed. Then they upgraded the engine to a 2226cc inline 510 valve and later to a 2226cc inline 520 valve, peaking at 220 horsepower. And in 1981, the Audi Quattro burst under the World Rally Championship scene and Hanu Mikula nailed two rallies. Meanwhile, Michelle Mouton even made history by winning rallies in Remo, becoming the first lady to conquer the World Rally. The entry of S1. Then in 1982, Audi bagged seven rally wins and snagged the manufacturer's world champion title. On top of that, Mouton stood at second place with Mikola right behind her at third and Blomqvist cruising in at fourth. This was also the start of the new Group B rules, so Audi stepped up their game with the A1 evolution of the Quattro S1, boosting the power to around 350 horsepower. Then in 1983, they unleashed the A2 Evolution. With both A1 and A2 in play, Audi's drivers racked up five WRC victories and Mikola even snagged the world champion title. And the Audi team landed second overall, trailing behind Martini Lancia. 1984 Triumphs Yet the 1984 season was a real game changer for Audi, with Blomquist taking the world champion title and securing the team's second world win. They had two winning rides that season, the trustworthy old Audi Quattro A2 triumphing in six rallies and the new speed demon, the shortened Audi Sport Quattro S1. Now, this S1 came packed with an all-aluminum alloy and a 2133cc 20-valve DOHC engine, a bit smaller than the Audi Quattro's to fit into the 3-liter engine class. The road version revved up about 305 horsepower, while the competition cars revved into an insane 450 horsepower territory. Peugeot challenge in 1985. Moving on in 1985, Peugeot stole the show with the 205 T16, leaving Audi with just one WRC win by Walter Rohr, and the crew came in second in the championship. Audi Sport Quattro S1 E2. But in late 1985, Audi unveiled the Audi Sport Quattro S1 E2, featuring a 2110cc inline five-cylinder engine pumping out a quoted 350 kilowatts, but rumor has it it was actually churning out over 500 braking horsepower. Then the car got bolt wings and spoilers, adding serious downforce. They even shedded the weight down to 1,090 kilograms and clocked 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 3.1 seconds. Plus, some lucky cars got the power shift gearbox, a peek into the future of DSG technology. Plus, the Audi Quattro owned the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb three times straight, Mouton in 85, Unser in 86, and Rohrl in 87. Group B ban. However, the S1 E2 was Audi's grand finale for Group B. Due to the tragic 86 Rally Portugal, Audi pulled the plug on Group B for good. With Group B banned, Audi switched gears and brought in the 200 Quattro for Group A, which grabbed second place in the championship. Legacy. And even after 37 years, it's crystal clear that the Audi Quattro made a huge splash in rally history, bagging 23 WRC wins and two champ titles. Audi even gave a nod to this legend, sticking the Quattro badge on all their four-wheel drive rides. So the Ur Quattro, that's original in German, still lives on in Audi's DNA, even in today's rides. That wraps up our journey through this legendary era. If you liked the video, subscribe to stay updated. See you on the flip side.